Welcome students! Today we are going to go through the steps to download Zotero and use it to grab full text articles out of databases and then we're going to go into Word and we're going to use Zotero to do our in-text citations and create our reference page at the end of our paper. Alright, so you'll remember from orientation that we need to use uh, Firefox, that's the recommended browser. And so we are going to go to Zotero.org and it will give you the Download Now button. Click on Download Now. We talked about this a little bit in our orientation. You can choose either the standalone or the one that's in Firefox. For the sake of example, I'm going to do the one that's in Firefox. We're going to allow it to install that. So make sure that you click the Install Now button. It wants to restart now, but I'm not ready to restart yet because I need this second plugin. Please make sure you get the second part or it doesn't work. Okay, so we're going to click on Plugin for Word because we want Zotero to talk to Word. Very important. Now, obviously, I'm using Windows. So we're going to go to Windows, install the plugin. For that, we're going to Allow, and we're going to Install Now. And now we're going to restart because we've installed both parts. And so when it restarts, it's going to restart with the Zotero icons and be all ready to go. OK, when it restarts, it just starts back where you left off. So we are going to go up here and go to library.seu.edu. And I bet that's burned into your brains now, right? We're going to go to the Databases tab. Remember, this takes us to all the databases at Southeastern. Then we're going to go to Education because we're focusing on the education databases. And we're going to choose EBSCO. There is a video that tells you more about EBSCO. It's Finding Journal Articles. Take a look at that if you want more explanation. We're going to go down and limit our results to full text and scholarly peer-reviewed journals. Then we'll go up to the search box and today I'm going to put in education and technology because we're having so much fun with technology today. When we click on search, it takes us to the list of results. We have 270,000 items that match our search and right now we have the first 10 on our screen. Now in the right hand corner, you'll see Zotero is here living inside of Firefox. We have the folder icon because Zotero sees that we have 10 on our screen and it says, do you want to add these to your library? A quick way to get a lot of sources is click select all, click OK, and it will put all 10 and the full text that it can grab into your database. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to deselect and cancel out because I want to show you one by one some different uh, things that might happen to you as you're doing your research. So when I click on the title of the first one, you'll notice that there is no full text uh, link on the left-hand side. So we're going to scroll down, OK, because it should be full text, right? That's what we chose. Uh, so under Availability, it's going to say, oh, there's a link to ERIC. Remember that ERIC is the database in education, but it's owned by the government. So it's just taking us to the government site and the full text is living there. So you can see it's on the right hand side. There's the download full text link. And here we have everything that we need for the citation. Because both citation information and download full text are on the same screen, we can go up to Zotero. It's just a piece of paper now because it's one article. We click on that and it says no problem. I'm saving that. I'm saving the full text. Everything is good to go. If we open up Zotero, uh, we'll see here's a cross-cultural comparative study and there's the full text. We just click X to get Zotero out of our way. All right, I'm done with that. I'm going to go back to the database, click back, and go back to our list of 270,000 items. Okay, now the second one, the PDF is right there. So you know you can grab that one, no problem. Let's go down here and look for some trouble. All right, now, we don't have trouble here. What we do have is HTML full text, and we talked about this in class. I just have to show you that it really does do the accent. So 
We have the American accent, the Australian accent, the British accent, and you already know I like the Australian one. But when you save this, it will save the HTML full text in Zotero. Uh, it's not going to read it to you in Zotero, though. Okay? Just keep that in mind. All right, let's scroll down and find some more trouble, right? Okay, so when we get down here, we see that we've got lots of links, but none of these are exactly full text. We're going to click on the title of the article. Again, this is going to give us all the information we need for our citation. But again, there's no link that says PDF full text. We are going to click on Full Text Finder. Now what this is is a service that EBSCO provides where it goes out there and it looks at all the electronic journals that we own and it finds a copy of it for us. So here we have the PDF. We have all this information for the citation. We go up to Zotero, click the piece of paper, and save it to our library. No problem, right? Okay, now I'm just getting rid of those tabs. Don't worry about that. Now, I do want to point out a couple things. Um, there is a link here for check for full text, and it's not going to take you anywhere. Don't be discouraged by that. Just know it's part of the process, and it just tells you that no results were found, and I don't know why that link's even there, but don't let it discourage you. This request item through interlibrary loan, this particular form does not work mainly because while it captures some of the information, it doesn't have the journal title, and there's no way for you to communicate and say, hey, this is who I am, I'm a grad student, and I need this article. So what I recommend that you do in a case like this, and really for um, most things that you're doing in Word, I mean, I'm sorry, in EBSCO, is just email it to us, okay? This is honestly the easiest way to do it. So you're gonna go to CERC, at seu.edu. In here, please put, I need this article, please. And then down here in the comments, this is like the message of the body. So you can put, I'm a grad student, give your name. We um, need your student email, your Southeastern email address so that we can email the article to you. And when we do that, then you can save that article onto your computer and upload it into Zotero. Now I'm sure you're asking, how do I upload an article into this? Okay, so once you click send and send it to us. Okay, now when we are looking at it like this and we go to save it into Zotero, um, it cannot capture the full text. So you'll see it's capturing the EBSCO record, but not the full text. Now once we have emailed you the full text, and you download that, you're going to hopefully download it somewhere where you can remember. Now I've downloaded it onto my desktop and I'll be real honest, after a while my desktop gets to be a mess. So you may want to put it somewhere else, but just make sure you know where you put it. That's very important. All right, so I'm opening up Zotero again. I'm finding my article where it only has the EBSCO record and I need to to attach the full text to it. So while I have it highlighted, I go up to the paper clip. I say attach stored copy of file. It shows me my desktop. I'm going to click on the full text and click open. And you'll see that now when I double click on that, it takes me right to the full text wherever it lives. Okay, so that's how that works. Now that we're done with um, doing research in EBSCO and grabbing things with Zotero, now we're going to go into Word and we will um, work on APA in there and that's video number two.